Last week I did a video about the Polar Express Suite, not suit. Somebody corrected me in the comments and said, David, you pronounce it as suite, not suit. So the Polar Express Suite. And it was just an introduction video showing you the MIDI mockup. And if you are just tuning in right now, this MIDI mockup is still free to download. Link is in the video description below. And if you have downloaded it, you can import it into your own DAW and start rebuilding this phenomenal composition yourself with the libraries that you own. And that is a great opportunity because it will give you great insights how your libraries work and how you can get the best sound out of them. Now, I also promised you last week that I would dive into the little details more and more talking about, showing you what I have done, how I have done it, and what I am planning to do furthermore. So in this video, I wanna talk about a specific element, how to use articulation sets in Logic Pro X. Now, if you are not working with Logic Pro X, but with another DAW, that one will probably have some sort of similar functionality. For example, in Cubase, it's called expression maps. Now let's return to the MIDI mockup and let me show you how I have used articulation sets to write an orchestral line, in this case a brass line, much faster than I would ever have been done if I have used different tracks for each articulation using, I guess, less CPU and less RAM, which is a great, great thing because I'm working on a pretty limited system right now and it's just fun and easy to use. So let's go to the MIDI mockup and talk about articulation sets. Hi there, this is David, also known as Ghost Rider. All right, articulation sets. I wanna talk about three things. One, what are articulation sets? What are the benefits of it? Second, how can you assign articulation sets in a DAW like Logic Pro X? Third, what is the performance of articulation sets when you use them with contact and when you are using them with complete control from native instruments? Because in the last one, they seem to be a little bit buggy. All right, first of all, what are articulation sets? Well, simply said, the use of articulation sets gives you the possibility to assign specific articulations to specific MIDI notes. And let me demonstrate that by having a look at this single track. And let's go to the piano roll. This orchestral line, we're going to listen to it and listen closely and try to figure out how many different articulations do I hear on this single line. All right, there are four articulation in this single line. These ones are all legato notes. This one is a long sustain. These ones are all again legato notes. This one is a long sustain. These two are staccato, a long sustain, a legato, a marcato, and at the end, a legato note. So four different articulations on a single track in one orchestral line. Normally, I would have used four different tracks. One track for the long sustains, one track for the legatos, one track for the mercado, and one track for the staccatos to write this orchestral line. And now I can do that on a single track in my DAW by using articulation sets. And that is a great benefit because it helps me to write faster it helps me to write, I guess, better and more realistic orchestral lines. It saves up loading different tracks in your DAW, which is really, really fine. And that is the benefit of using articulation sets. You can assign specific articulations to specific MIDI notes on a single track. Now, how does this work? How do you assign 
articulation sets to a specific track. Well, in Logic, you do that by simply going here and I'm using the articulation sets from Babylon Waves and they have really, really many articulation sets in their uh, product. These are all the manufacturers that uh, they have included. And for the people who are following me quite a while know that I love to work with Spitfire Audio um, libraries. And in this case, I'm using the Spitfire Audio Symphonic Brass Horns A6 patch. So when you assign that set to this track, you now have the possibility to assign to each specific MIDI node a specific articulation. So this one could be, for example, also a marcato instead of a legato. We can also assign a tenudo, etc. All the articulations that are available in this patch can be used on the single MIDI notes. All right. So how does it look like when we are listening again to this orchestral line and have a look how they easily switch the different articulations. you get an idea how this works. So that is great, great. What you have to do also to assign and to make this work is when you load up a patch, a library, you have to go and when you do this with Spitfire Audio, normally when you load up this uh, patch, you get this screen. You have to click the wrench, click, click the little triangle and then select lock to the UACCKS. And when you have done that, you will see that it is locked and that it works with the articulation sets that you have assigned to this specific patch to this track. Then it's all working fine. The third thing that I wanted to talk about is the use of complete control. There are three ways that you can work with contact. You can load a library directly in contact. You can use complete control, which I love to use. You can also load up contact through complete control and somehow it seems a little bit buggy when you're using complete control and contact through complete control. Uh, maybe some of you are asking yourself why are you using complete control and not only contact? Well, I can use my, uh, my keyboard with all the functionalities when I use complete control and that will make it much easier for me to compose music and to write uh, different music. So that's that's my benefit, but it's not a thing that is really necessary. You can, if you are a great piano player, for example, you can easily work in contact alone. But when I use complete control, I can assign different skills to my keyboard, etc. So that's that's much easier for me. I've noticed, and I'm going to show you this by uh, using the horns A6 patch. I've tried this with other libraries too and they seem to perform differently. I can't put my finger on it, what's exactly the problem. And I talked about it with the developer of the articulation sets from Babylon Waves, Mark, and told me that this is not a thing from the articulation set. So maybe it has something to do with native instruments. Maybe it has something to do with the libraries from Spitfire Audio. Maybe it has something to do with Apple. I don't know. But if you are using articulation sets and you're using complete control, you could be frustrated because it doesn't perform stable. So let's have a listen when we use articulation sets in combination with complete control directly. Something went wrong, right? They switched correctly, but somehow there's a delay in the different articulations because these two staccatos, the first staccato is played along 
which should be assigned to this MIDI note. And it is, but a long wasn't played. It was on that note. So that's strange. Somehow there seems to be a delay in the different articulations. So there it goes wrong, right? It works correctly in contact, directly in contact. It doesn't work correctly when you're using complete control or contact through complete control. Now I've checked this with different libraries from Spitfire Audio and they all seem to perform differently. Sometimes they work correctly in all three and sometimes they work correctly in two of them, a different combination. So that's a really strange performance, I guess. Nevertheless, articulation sets, and in this case, the ones that I use from Babylon Ways are a great tool, which I keep using because I love it. And I know now that they work for sure when I use a patch loaded directly in contact. That should be fine. So I'm not using them with complete control or contact through complete control. And then you're fine. I hope you enjoyed and appreciated this video and that it gave you some insights and advice how you can use articulation sets in Logic Pro X or work with a similar functionality in your own DAW if you're not working with Logic Pro X. Next Thursday, we will return to this MIDI mockup and I will be talking about another specific element when we remake this beautiful, phenomenal composition.